Hey everybody, this is Jennifer with Giddy Gen Plants. Welcome back to my channel. And if you would like to see me attempt to have planter peace, <laughs> then just keep on watching. So I did something today. I had contemplated doing it over the camera and I thought, nah, I need to get in my zone. It might take hours upon hours. And I finally did it. So I am attempting to have planner peace because I really just don't. And I've been watching a lot of planner babes that I enjoy to watch, like At Home with Kita, um, Creating in Chaos, um, and just other planner babes because I don't know, I had thought about doing the Franken planning. I know I've done it in the past and it didn't really work for me because I really didn't give it a chance. And so today I decided I'm gonna take four of my favorite planners that I really want to use on a regular daily basis besides my student planner. She's all on her own. Um, and then I decided to go ahead and Franken plan her into my or Franken plan these three into my socialite planner which makes four planners total like I just said um, so that is what this video is about I'm going to show you how I did that and show you my system and I'm going to hope that this will be what makes me have planner peace I don't want to say that I have it yet because I just finished this like two hours ago and so, anyways so before I get started definitely follow me on Instagram at Giddy Gen Plans subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and click that notification bell that way you're notified each and every time that I do upload alright guys so without any further ado let's get some planner piece so yeah so like I was saying um, I decided to well let me just go over my process there we go this could get lengthy so I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want it to get too lengthy so first of all I had to decide on a planner cover I thought that will be the most inspiring you know which one will be the most inspiring to me and of course I almost thought about doing this good vibes one because if you've been on my channel long enough you know I absolutely love the ocean I get a lot of peace from the ocean and the beach and so I almost thought about this one um, and then I'd almost thought about the squad life one that says be your own happy because I love the squad life and the squad goals girls they're so cute however <laughs> I love my socialite and she's going to be done in December and I thought I have all next year to pick out from these are possible new ones that come out but I really really like this socialite I've had her hidden in a like pink card cover I'll show a picture right here so that's what I've been keeping on this because this was my student planner last semester. And so, yeah, I decided to open her up, let her be fresh and free. <laughs> that sounds so weird. And I love that it says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. So the first thing that I did, if you saw in that picture, you'll notice that the discs were all hot pink and then I had a couple of gold discs so the first thing I wanted to do was give her a disc makeover can we make that a hashtag if it's not let's totally do it so disc makeover so that's what I did to her and now I really really like it I ended up keeping two of the hot pink ones on the sides I kept two gold in the middle two of the blue right here and then I ended up using two of the lavender disc that I recently got with this new release. And then I put another gold one right here. So I really like the way that this looks. Um, and so the three planners, well, I, first of all, I put the social light planner in here. I put three to four months. I'm not for sure. I forgot already. We'll see that in a minute. And then I put... Let me do these in order. Um, and then I put the, put the Paint Splash Happy Planner in next because this is my worship team base planner. Next, I put the Squad Life Happy Planner because that is my social media planner. 
And then last but not least, I added my Coastal Vibes Planner because that is my daily journal uh, planner. And I thought that that would be good to go ahead and put that in this planner as well. This is just so beautiful on camera. I love the colors of this cover. They made so many beautiful covers with this social light planner. I want to say there are, I know there are at least two covers, but I think there were like three. And that's not even including all the mini planners. I loved their covers. Um, so I will hang on to this cover forever, even whenever this planner is no more. <laughs> this one is so depressing. All right, so let's go ahead and flip through this. Okay, so whenever you flip to the inside, I do have a heart from the patch, like the accessory patches that came with the Socialite set. Um, and I really, really love that. I thought it would just kind of give it a pop. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. In fact, I realized in making this video that I never did do a like flip through of the Socialite planner of like how I was using it. And I really, really wanted to, but I ended up, it was the summertime, and I kind of slacked off of using it so much. Um, and then I ended up switching to the Golden Student for school. I was using this for school, so um, I will definitely be doing flip-throughs of the Golden Student, though, just so you'll kind of see how I use it, um, especially for my senior year. Um, and so over here, I decided to go ahead and leave some sticky notes, which is also from the Socialite. Um, set that came out um, that is kind of coming off um, I absolutely loved the whole socialite vibe and I'm afraid that there's so many popular ones like I know some people still love the like happy planner girl line from last year and so I'm so afraid that socialite's gonna just blow away and I hope not because she really has beautiful colors and vibes and I really love it um so yeah as you can see I'm not very proud of myself I just never put my name on these I don't know why I think it's from fear that I will mess it up if I do it myself and then I just never order any or I used to print them I would make them in a word document and print them out on sticker paper that was like had a clear background and I would stick them on like that but I just haven't done that in forever I probably need to though because this is really getting sad like I feel like that's like what makes your planner yours so anyways so I went ahead and kept the 2019 and 2020 calendars that came with this socialite planner and then I also decided to go ahead and keep the year at a glance which is January through December as you can see I mean I've used it so much <laughs> I really need to use this more um, because I actually I actually really love that they've started doing this I absolutely love it um, this I will probably I put this piece of paper here because I'm thinking about taping January to this I don't know if that bothers anybody else it bothers me and it shouldn't because I see people who frank a plan that don't even it doesn't even bother them so I wish it didn't bother me so much um, I do miss having my August uh, currently page right here but I had a lot of stuff on the back that I didn't want to just stick down so I don't know I'll probably try to just get away with that um, and so yeah so I have August in here which as you can see I've done nothing <laughs> I need to get back into it and then I kept September and October okay yeah so I just kept August uh, through October so I only put three months of the socialite planner in here and then you get to this dashboard which is so pretty I love those colors still guys that blue love it um, and then whenever you uh, flip through that then you will see right here I have this hello this happy planner belongs to and this starts the paint splash classic happy planner which is my worship team base planner I do have this also in a mini well not the paint splash but I have a mini southern preppy happy planner in fact check out my worship Wednesday videos and you will definitely see that and I like to keep that one in my purse every time I go to church that way I can keep up with things and then come home and put it in my face um, again no name just I don't even want to look at you Jen don't even want to look at it <laughs> I actually really wanted to add um, Jennifer with the you know our church name worship team uh, so I decided to go ahead and keep the 2019 2020 uh, calendar out of that as well 
And in this one, I went ahead and put July because there were some things that I wanted to keep up with in July. So I, I ended up doing that. Um, and then I added August, September, and October. So I ended up keeping four months out of that. Alright, and then next you have this next dashboard which says Hello Beautiful. So, so far, I think I only used dashboards from the Socialite Planner for the three main planners. And then once I get to extra stuff, I ran out of dashboards from the Socialite. So I had to use other ones. So then we get into my Social Media Planner, which is a Squad Life Classic Happy Planner so cute I still love this planner so much and I'm really really thinking about having this the squad life cover as my next cover but I'm not really sure um, I'll probably switch it up a lot because I think that's fun uh, and so I went ahead and kept the 2019 calendar and I don't know why I don't have the 2019 or 2020 I think it was connected to something else that I didn't really care to take out at this time um, so yeah so I kept that in there and then I bought um, or I put in here a stack just a small stack of the new social media paper that you can purchase that just came out with the new uh, happy planner release this past July went ahead and put that in there I love that and then in this uh, in the social media planner I have August September and October I love that I can't believe that's only two months away guys Woo! I love fall love it all right and so then we have this dashboard hey that looks really cool I like that <laughs> oh and then we have our third dashboard and this is where we get into why didn't I put the cover sheet all right guys so there is something that I did not do that I really wanted to do so I'm really hoping that this franking planning planning is going to work for me because I'll be honest there are already things that I love about each of these planners like the extras that I keep in them that I really don't want to sway from um, so I decided to go ahead and put July back in here I'm just gonna put this right there just in front of August um, and then I also let's see here sorry guys I did not have this set up beforehand and I like having these these are from the wellness the new well well I think it came out earlier this year from the wellness pack a like accessory pack that you can purchase and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and add something else real quick because I have plenty I think I have plenty of room so in my coastal vibes planner um, at the very back I decided to have my little wellness section because I'm kind of focusing on like jotting down some things I'm kind of focused on like journaling and keeping up with how I feel and so I used this little dashboard right here from the notes uh, that match the coastal vibes I forget what the notes would be wonderful I think happy notes um, and so I'm gonna just put some plain paper in here real quick again I apologize I didn't realize I didn't have that set up I don't want to put too much because I do have um, I can pick and pull so this is from the wellness accessory pack and I like to keep that in here with this coastal vibes planner because as I reflect I might can also get a little wellness done as well so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there too so I don't think that made it too thick you know what if it did oh well so there we go <laughs> so let me do a flip through of that again guys sorry about that so you get to this dashboard which is the coastal vibes section and I've added the little right the little sticky notes I've got the front page again with no name it's nameless I got the 2019 2020 calendar and then of course I have January or I'm sorry July and I keep this little mood tracker in here. So cute. I like it. It really came in handy too. However, there we go. Um, I know it's no longer July, so I need to kind of move everything into here. Um, 
So I'm just going to put July in here for now, but I'm going to kind of rearrange some things. That way August is still the first month. And then, of course, I'll switch it out as I go. So, yeah, so I have July, August, September, and October. And then I have this extra little section right here, which has some wellness uh, stickers and a planner or a folder. And then it has some weekly check-in sheets and then just some plain paper sheets like that. And there we go. So then we get to this dashboard, which is no longer the social light dashboards. This one is the daydreamer dashboard that I was able to get my hands on. I came to love the happy planner in January of 2018 and I never saw any of this stuff out. I didn't learn about it until like months later. So I was able to purchase a set of the daydreamer dashboards on Etsy, I want to say, or are, yeah, I think it was Etsy. So I went ahead and nagged those up or snagged those up because I thought they were really, really cute. So anyway, so this dashboard is like the extra section. So I've got a little envelope here. I have my sticky notes there. I had that folded for a reason. It kept getting stuck to whatever was over here. Um, but yeah, so I had the socialite sticky notes. I have some of the half sheets for the socialite planner. I have two of each. And then I have the B Classy socialite folder with some stickers and this little, um, wow, I forgot the bookmark. I forgot what it's called. Um, and then some personal papers. And again, some personal papers right here. I have last year's or last semester's school schedule, so I need to make a new one of that. And then that's a personal paper. That's a personal paper, so I'm gonna hide that. And then I have some today sheets to do, check it off, top priorities, today, a.m., p.m. I kept some of those in here. I'm also going to be putting some of those in my golden student. And then I just have some happy notes, and I think that is it, yep. All right, guys, so that is it. Um, adding some of that Coastal Vibe stuff made it a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I'm gonna go through later after this video and try to rearrange a few things so um so yeah i really hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that i will soon have planner peace and um leave a comment down below let me know if you guys franken plan and if you do which planners do you have in your franken planner if you have one you might have several franken planners um kind of thinking about doing that with the mini which i kind of already do i use my fierce and fabulous in my girl gang in the same planner um so i guess that's it's considered franken planning i never thought about that um and uh yeah so i can't wait to start using this definitely going to take some stuff out after this video uh it got a little bit more full than i expected but that is totally totally fine i will make videos every now and then of me planning in this that way you can kind of see how i'm using it and of course i will have another video up if this does not give me planner piece and i will show whatever does give me planner piece um and i know i will be having a flip through soon of my golden student planner once i have the part two of the setup come up i will probably make another video of a through z on that planner because she is going to be my everything for school so all right guys well thank you so very much for watching and definitely give this video a thumbs up and i will see you all soon bye